I know it's been a while. Um, I've been busy with a few different things. Uh, one of the things was my tablet that I use as my primary camera uh, kind of died, so I had to uh, get something else. So that kind of put a damper on some things. Uh, but right now I'm going to show you this uh, sort of experiment that I've been doing for the last uh, 10 weeks. Uh, what I'm doing is growing uh, garlic bulbils indoors. I just wanted to see the result of kind of an idea I had. For those of you that don't know, garlic bulbils are uh, these little things that grow out of the top that grows up um, called a scape. And then they grow into something called an umbel, which is kind of like looks like a um, Chinese lantern type thing. Those are full of bulbils. These are from what are called the Costin's red variety. These are like the average size ones. Some of them are bigger. But yeah, just to give you an idea, that's called the uh, purple strep variety. And then there's another variety uh, called, these are like uh, porcelain type. And these are smaller than grains of rice. So that's what I'm working with in planting. Uh, these aren't seeds. These are more like mini bulbs. Uh, so they're the same uh, genetic uh, properties of, of the parent plant. But the thing is with these ball bills, uh, the main reason that people plant them is that they want to get, you know, tons of plants. Like these are all from, I think, two different uh, heads of garlic. And, you know, if, if you got all these to, to uh, germinate, you'd get hundreds and hundreds, you know, maybe a thousand uh, different plants. Now, it will take you three to five years before they're at a reasonable size. So... That's why normally people just will uh, harvest uh, garlic and then, you know, split it up into cloves and then uh, plant those. But, you know, this is like way faster, uh, over the long term anyway. Now the problem with this, uh, especially with this porcelain variety, it takes so long. So normally someone would plant these, and this is like the size of a grain of rice, plant them outdoors in the fall or even in the spring. Uh, some people have trouble growing them in the fall, including myself. But when you do that, uh, you're still left with a pretty small plant. Uh, when you grow them in the fall, um, in the spring, you might not be able to tell the difference between a blade of grass and some of these young uh, garlic plants growing. So uh, that can make it more difficult. So what I thought is, you know, with these kind, it'd be really nice just to give them a head start, see if I could do that, and then possibly um, plant them again in the spring and see if I get more of a head start. I also plant some outside from the same batch so I'll be able to compare um, by next summer uh, the difference. Let me just show you what I did. Okay so I decided to use these little mini planter boxes. It was kind of a neat thing to use for an experiment. Uh, these were I think dollar fifty each something crazy like that uh, at a dollar store. Uh, they worked really well for me, just for the amount of uh, spacing and stuff and the amount of soil. Uh, so I just planted them here. I'm not using, you know, high technology to determine the levels. Um, but I just put them like this. Uh, these ones on the right are the Costin's Russian variety. Uh, they have a, a bigger bulbil. Uh, definitely like three, size, three times the size of... Uh, these ones, this is Leningrad, which is a porcelain variety, which are pretty much the slowest growing um, garlic. Uh, and yeah, they're growing like this. Uh, they've been growing for uh, 10 weeks. I originally had planned to grow these for 7 or 8 weeks, but I really wanted my uh, experiment to follow some things more properly, like uh, you're not supposed to harvest garlic unless about half the leaves have died and I'm I think almost at that point uh, it might be a little bit premature but well, I'm going away for a few days so I'd rather just take care of this now uh, I don't know if, if it really would have grown anymore I also cut down on the watering as you're supposed to with garlic uh, and with these I'm gonna have to cure them just like you do regular garlic and uh, after that uh, what I plan to do in the spring is I'll just uh, cold treat them 
for like a month or so uh, before I plant them uh, outside in um, May. Or maybe April, depending on how this year goes. So you can see they grew pretty big, uh, considering they're indoors. I wasn't paying as much attention as I could have if I was you know, really focusing on high production. I would just water these about once a week. Sometimes I uh, sort of forgot. They probably could have done better. Uh, my main methodology was that I was um, going to try to induce bulbing by increasing the light uh, length by 30 minutes every week. And I basically did that. I started from 13 hours of light at the very beginning, and then I increased it by around 30 minutes every week. Sometimes it was off by a day or so, but increased it by about 30 minutes. So I think these are at now something like 17 or a little over 17 hours a day it's on. I'm using uh, LED and small, smaller compact uh, fluorescence here, so I'm not using a ton of power. Um, and also I need to get these out of here so I can start some of my early stuff uh, early in the new year. So I'm just going to get out my little mini shovel that I use for digging here. I uh, also eat dinner with this sometimes. So let me start with some of the bigger ones. Okay. Yeah, so this one got bigger. It didn't uh, bulb that much. Um, the main things that cause garlic to bulb are um, change in light and a change in heat. Now, I didn't really do any change in heat, maybe a little bit by the furnace since it's uh, cold outside now, but uh, it didn't bulb as much as I'd hoped, but it still did bulb. That's from the Kostin's Russian variety. Now I'm going to look at the porcelain variety. Let me see if I can find a good one. Yeah, and this soil's gotten really dry. Okay. Yeah, so this one didn't really bulb that much either. Uh, but, I don't know if you can tell the scale so much, but considering this started from something smaller than a grain of rice, uh, it would definitely be a good head start in the spring to uh, transplant this, as opposed to uh, just starting from a bulb bill. I can really smell the garlic. It smells really strong, uh, in a good way. And so I took the average size ones of each. Uh, the one on the right here, again, is the Kostin's Russian. And um, this is the porcelain variety on the left. And you can see that it seems to be a much more worthwhile um, exercise for the porcelain. As you can see, that you're getting this from, starting from that, uh, in 10 weeks. You know, it's not a huge difference. It's not like growing onions where you'll get something, you know, a thousand times the size of an onion seed. Uh, but uh, for 10 weeks, uh, the way garlic is, uh, I think this might be worthwhile. Uh, this, I'm not so sure. Uh, the way things, the way this type of garlic grows, uh, it does grow pretty quickly. So I'm not sure if that was really a success, but that was interesting to try. So now I'm going to cure these just the way you normally cure garlic and uh, use paper bags and all that and I'll uh, be replanting these in the spring. I think if I do something like this again though I'll probably do a little bit of a cold treatment because um, that might improve the bulbing because definitely these didn't bulb as good as they could have. Um, so we'll see and we'll see you next time.